Remember Gwen Stefani's hit 90s group, No Doubt? Well, the band is reuniting at Coachella this weekend to share the stage for the first time in nearly a decade. The annual two-weekend music festival began Friday in Indio, California, and this year's headliners are Lana Del Rey, Tyler the Creator, and Doja Cat. Audiences not attending in person can also opt to stream it all on YouTube. Paul Thompson is attending the festival. He's covered it for several years. He's a contributor and for Pitchfork and the senior editor at the Los Angeles Review of Books. So, Paul, what artists are you most excited to see this year? Well, it's interesting the three headliners you mentioned who all are very rooted in Los Angeles. And I think people might underestimate now how California-specific Coachella is hmm. and always has been. I'm excited to see Lana tonight. I think that she's um, sort of uncanny in a way that a lot of great California art often has been. And uh, seeing her newer, more intimate songs on a big stage will be an interesting sort of textural clash. Uh, we saw Lana there in the beginning and also some of the other artists. But I want to ask you, Paul, about this highly anticipated No Doubt reunion, because Gwen Stefani says there's no future collaboration plans. So might this be actually the last chance for folks to see the group perform? I think it's very possible. And I think that in the last few years, this is something that Coachella has really leaned into, is being a venue for acts from the past for which people are really nostalgic to come back and allow people to relive different eras in music. Um, so yeah, the opportunity to see an act like that together, um, sort of divorced from any album cycle is really unique because you don't see that very often. And uh, as, as much as their music has stayed in the culture, it definitely feels like it's going to be a performance beamed in from another time. Hmm. I like that. I like that description of it. Uh, well, in the past, Coachella tickets sell out within days, if not hours. But this year, Coachella actually saw their slowest ticket sales in a decade. In fact, as I understand it, you can still find tickets online for next weekend. What's going on? I think a few different things are happening at once. Um, we're talking with the No Doubt performance about the way that nostalgia acts or legacy acts have been a bigger part of the booking strategy ask? over the past few years. And one of the uh, balances you have to make when you're booking a festival is choosing if you're going to prioritize older audiences who are playing on nostalgia or younger audiences who are going to be more excited about the future. And uh, I think that you're, we're experiencing the after effects of the pandemic where younger crowds maybe are not as uh, in the habit of consistently going to music festivals. It's not as central to their lives. And frankly, it's gotten very expensive. General admission starts at $500, but the cost of staying in the desert for the weekend is almost prohibitive. So we'll see how things stabilize in the next few years coming out of COVID. But for now, I think it's a, it's a big ask for a lot of people to, to make the expenditure. Given that, and given that tickets start at $500, uh, do we expect that any of those ticket prices might come down as, uh, as the festival goes on and there's still available tickets left? I don't know. I think it's very possible. Um, I'm curious also what the secondary market is going to be like for it. Uh, mm. Anyone who's been to a festival of this size knows that the parking lot and the multiple mile walk in often is inundated with people trying to buy and sell wristbands. So maybe there'll be an uptick in that activity this year. We'll have to wait and see. More selling perhaps at a discount. All right, Paul Thompson, thank you. Thank you.